All right, guys, well, I'm back today with probably one of the coolest videos I've made in a very long time. Rock salt shotgun shells versus actual ballistic gelatin. This is a combination of help between two companies. FireQuest for sending over the factory made rock, <laughs> rock salt shotgun shells that fits in a 12 gauge and American Pawn and Gun located in Monroe, North Carolina for sending over the ballistic gelatin. If you happen to be in Monroe, North Carolina, swing by American Bond, check them out, tell them 704 Tactical sent you over and they'll hook you up with some deals. So FireQuest has a ton of different specialty ammunition and a disclaimer, I don't actually recommend using any specialty ammunition in personal defense situations, but we've all been there at the gun shop and you'll see that FUD or old timer walk up and talk about, well, just load up a shotgun shell with rock salt and blast those guys and they'll stay off your property. That's like poor legal and defensive advice, but I've always wanted to see how potent is rock salt against something like ballistic gelatin. We're about to find out. Don't try this at home don't use this for personal defense but it will be an interesting video i'm gonna put this stuff in slow motion and kind of put you right up here to see what kind of damage it causes here's the rock salt shotgun shell we're gonna load it up into the mossberg 590 i've got the ballistic gelatin set up down range at exactly five yards i'm gonna blast this thing and we will see how much damage rock salt actually causes to ballistic gelatin Guys, that was awesome. And you can feel the salt all over the front of this and you can see some of the impact craters. And if you look at it from the side, you can actually see some, especially right here and right here. They went about a half inch to three quarters of an inch deep, which would get in your skin and burn, but nothing made it far back, indicating that this would not be, in my opinion anyways, uh, life-threatening or cause any serious damage. That's why it's not good to use this stuff for personal defense or any practical reasons but it is really cool to have some rock salt shotgun shells lying around for novelty but man that did that was awesome it's like exactly what the old timers say it does breaks the skin st stings you real bad and causes this but definitely don't try it at home uh maybe you could use it to salt them salt a meal in a very interesting way but that is really cool i'm glad we got to try it on this ballistic gelatin again i want to give a huge shout out to FireQuest for sending over those shells as well as a huge shout out to american pawn and gun located in monroe north carolina for sending over the gelatin thanks for watching guys have a good one